Welcome to the Jamie Hicks Investigation, Part 6. Jamie was recently forcibly removed from a city council meeting during public comment. If you're not up to speed on this investigation, the links to all the previous videos will be down below. Meet Dawn Hicks, no relation to Jamie. Just moments after Jamie was shoved out of the meeting, Dawn was attempting to give a speech and had nearly half of that speech hijacked and was forced to stop at the five-minute limit. Let's take a look at how these two stood up for themselves at this week's meeting. Well, you all know my name. My name's Jamie Hicks. Uh, your little ordinance speech is about me. Um, I don't know if you know what civil rights are. And I don't know if you know about the fine line you're walking with what you're doing, Mayor Grove, but it's going to get you caught up. Councilman, I don't know how you can agree. I agree to order and decorum but when a man attacks you and is doing it deliberately deliberately at you because you asked for a minute to speak and he's talking because he didn't read the ordinance that you guys approved and what it states in there about asking for extra time sir yeah you know I know what a trick is and I know what you're up to Mayor Grove and I know what you're up to, Chief Smajinski. And you know what? <laughs> I don't have a whole lot to say about you because my respect for you is a little bit to none. I can't believe the council thinks that a person that talks out of turn needs to be treated the way that he treated me. You think that's appropriate because you don't like me? Because you don't want to do your damn job? I'm sorry. And you talking about not talking for five minutes? To you to ask you a question that's your way of being non-transparent on this damn TV screen right now you can't sit here and stand up there and attack people or tell, tell miss miss truce about your EPA letter and then you 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 tell me I'm right I'm correct you called me out one time for calling that ignorant man out well you should have stopped him from talking but you didn't. Not, not one councilman in here did that. Not one. All you got was, I hope I got it on video. Right, Doc? Yeah, it's on video. I heard you. And it is on video. Everything this man did to me. And it's also on audio. Who's there, Chief Smajinski? How many guys have you roughed up? How many guys have you treated like that when there's no camera running? And why do we have body cameras that aren't being used yet. Been in possession of police department since November. That man's not wearing one. I'm wearing one now. I'm wearing one. And you know damn good and why why I'm wearing it. This council has become a disgrace. If you would have showed one ounce, one ounce of remorse for what happened to the people affected by Karis Chemical, maybe even showed one, mo one ounce of enforcement on Karis Chemical, You've done none of this, none of it, because you all are afraid to lose your precious little money. What about their buildings they're supposed to be coming up and being done with? We ain't heard nothing about that. What about that path Pohar was going to do on a straw vote? What's up with that? We just make votes and vote on whatever we want because you're a home rule friggin' town? I bet you if you would have told the people that that's what you could do, they wouldn't have voted on this shit. And... You can do whatever you want, you think you can, to the Open Meetings Act. There's laws that govern you, and they're called federal laws, sir. And this man should tell you that. Your attorney over here, the one who's been trying to save your ass all year long. You incriminated yourself on that damn audio. A year and one month. Oh, boy, oh, boy. We didn't, we didn't create this problem, sir. You did. You did. By lack of disrespect, you're putting everybody in this town at danger and you don't give a shit. Let's tell the people the real reason why we're paying 380 some thousand dollars every other month to stick in Visereen for the water problem. Tell the people the reason why, Grove.
Don Hicks, I do want to make it perfectly clear on the record, I do stand with Jamie and his family. Just a reminder, it is my time to speak, and I would appreciate not being interrupted or spoken over. If you have questions or comments, please wait until I'm finished. Alderman Ambassador, I don't ever address you because in the last year you have shown zero interest in helping the citizens in this town. The only time I have witnessed you being passionate was about how many times a day you drive by LP High School, gross, and how long you sit at a traffic light up by Ancare. Oh, and when you want to complain about giving someone their First Amendment rights. You make what, $200 a meeting to sit there and be a jerk? You are supposed to be helping people, not trying to shut them up. Mayor Grove, at the last two meetings, you have stated that if anyone has questions, concerns, they can call or email you. What you forgot to mention was that if you are a woman, then we should check in with our husbands for your response. We, women are not less than Mayor Grove. You have lied to our faces about the quality of our water, about why the water treatment plant isn't running properly, and anything regarding Karis. Speaking of which, anyone interested in hearing the truth about our water are welcome to attend a hearing at the South Courthouse in Ottawa on February 29th at 10 a.m. There's a hearing which involves the Attorney General and the EPA versus the city of LaSalle. <coughs> Chief Smazinski, you have stated that you cannot just make traffic stops for no reason. Even though we have shown multiple times that Karis was carrying product without placards on their semis, and I couldn't understand why you wouldn't want to help keep our community safe. Then I saw the FOIA memo about Karis wanting to hire any police officers who would be willing to do security for them, and then I understood. Talk about conflict of interest. Also, when it was brought up about potassium permanganate in the Apollo, you brushed it off. Even when Officer Zebron confirmed it was, in fact, in there, you told Jamie and myself that we'll believe anything as if Zebron was lying. Well, Brent Bader also said that there was potassium permanganate in there. So is he a liar too? Also, I think it's funny how police are required to inspect massage parlors twice a year for the health and safety of people. But you all can't inspect Karis. Something's really wrong with that. 